name is Ms. Artastic and today we're going to make monsters while exploring the element of art value and the principle of design contrast. For this tutorial you're going to need anything that you want to use to make a mark. Let's get started. To begin you're going to need to find something to draw with. You can use a pencil, you can use a permanent marker, um, if you don't have these, find yourself a black felt marker or a black pencil crown. And if you don't have the color black, then you can use either purple or blue or brown, whatever is a dark color and whatever you have available to you at this time. Here we go. We're going to begin by drawing our monster's horns. So I'm going to draw two curved lines on either side of my paper and from those curved lines, which are very similar to the letter U, we're going to draw up and curve in like a spiral and we're going to do that one more time. Up, around and curve in. Okay, we're going to do that on the other side as well, but feel free to make the horns different. They don't have to be exactly the same. All right, I'm also going to draw curved lines in the horns for texture. Next, I'm going to draw my monster's eyes and then arms. Okay, so we're gonna work on the face and you can do the same face that I'm doing or feel free to draw whatever kind of style face that you want. But if you're following along with me, first draw two circles on either side, quite far apart in similar line with the horns. In those circles, draw two more circles and from there, two more little circles. All right, once you've done that, color in the eyes, being careful not to color the white. draw our monster's mouth. Draw a long curved line and on either side of the mouth we're going to draw the little letter V to add the corners of the mouth and then we're going to draw upside down triangles or a zigzag line for the teeth. And boy does this monster have a lot of teeth. Great! Next, we're gonna draw arms, whatever kind of arms your monster has. And now we need to give the monster a body. So I'm gonna make this a fluffy monster and it's going to have curly lines or curving lines for the body. I'm also gonna give my monster some legs. I'm gonna draw four lines that come down from the body and they're all parallel. To draw the toes, I draw the letter C three times and then I connect to the legs just like that. And you can also give your monster some toenails if you would like. Perfect. Hmm, maybe my monster has some hairy feet. I'm gonna draw some squiggle lines on the feet give it some hair on its feet. Great. Now we're ready to set up our background for value. I'm going to switch to a pencil and I'm going to draw firmly so that you can see on the camera but at home make sure you're drawing very lightly because you don't want to see the pencil when you're done. 
So I'm gonna draw firmly so that you can see it. But again, at home, draw very lightly. Now I'm gonna draw a circle around my monster. I'm going to imagine that the circle continues right through my monster and I'm going to draw a nice big circle. Okay, now I'm going to leave two finger spaces and I'm going to make a little mark so I can gauge that with my eyes and then I'm going to draw another circle. I'm trying to keep that nice and even as I continue around the monster. Again, make sure you're drawing nice and lightly, and don't worry if it's not perfectly even, as you're gonna be coloring it in anyway, and you won't see it at all, and you can always even it out later. I'm gonna draw one more line. Now this circle is mostly off the page, so I'm gonna imagine that it continues and connects back in the corners. So now I've set up my lines for where I'm going to add value in my background. I'm going to be using my black crayon. Here it is. And I'm going to be coloring with this and I can also use the help of a white crayon. Of course, most of my crayons are broken. I do struggle with keeping them nice and together. This is actually a brand new pack, so that's why they look so good. All right, so now I'm going to start off by doing creating a value background or a value scale. I'm going to color very, very lightly with my crayon close to my monster. And I wanna make sure that this value, black or gray, is nice and light. So I'm being very, 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 very gentle when I'm coloring, which is why I'm going a little bit slower than usual. All right, so once you have that all done, to lighten up the value just a little bit more, you're gonna take a white crayon and just gently go over top. And that will just smooth it all out. Perfect. Okay, so we have our lightest value of black. Now we're gonna press a little bit more firm and you're gonna notice that the pencil lines quickly disappear. Now, if you don't wanna use black, you can always use a different color, but because we're playing with contrast, we do want this to be a significantly darker background compared to the monster. So, because we're playing with contrast, which are colors that are very starkly different from each other, we want to use black in the background. All right, so I'm pressing just a little bit more firm on the second line and this is when I can even out any of those uneven value rings.
Next ring, we're gonna draw a little bit firmer. We'll color a little bit more firm. The last, we're gonna press as hard as we can in these corners and make that nice and dark. So whatever ring becomes your last ring, you need to make that as dark as you can make it by pressing and coloring as hard as you can without breaking that crayon. But you can see that there's a nice transition from light to dark, and all I'm using is a black wax crayon. And because I'm coloring really firmly, I'm definitely using this other hand to stabilize the paper or else it'll just do whatever it wants. So you gotta make sure you use your whole body or whatever works for you when you're drawing. Wonderful, now we have a nice value that goes from light and slowly transitions to black. Let's tackle this monster's body. I'm going to pick red but you can pick any color you want, whether it be yellow or blue or purple. But I'm gonna pick red because it's a nice contrast to black. And it's gonna stand out, which is the whole point. We wanna place emphasis on the monster. We want the monster to stand out, and contrast helps us make things stand out and draws our attention to the focal point of a piece. So I'm gonna use my regular felt marker to color my monster red.
we're going to shade our monster um, using a white pencil crayon and a black pencil crayon. First we're going to grab our white pencil crayon and we're going to slowly begin shading along the top. Add some little curving lines in the eyes right over that black marker and some highlights in the horns and on the arms and legs. Then I'm going to use my black and I'm going to add shadows and I need to be nice and light when I color with black pencil crown because black is pretty powerful and it's pretty hard to make erase your mistakes so we're just going to be very gentle and we can always build up the value as we color so anywhere there might be a shadow so I'm going to gently color in a circular motion and add some shadows So be around the horns, under the horns, and now I'm going to shade around the eyes. Gonna shade under all these nice and sharp teeth. And under the arms. Isn't he cute? Remember, it is a monster. Toes. You always got to have shadows between those toes. Lovely. Your monster is now done. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, please visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic, and shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MsArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.